like I'm father, like I'm Naruto. Keep the blade on me, Ichigo. Who really wanna go toe for toe? TTR from Tokyo. Diamonds flipping up on the stove. Lucky man, like a four leaf cloak. Diamonds wanna go. Hello, everyone. This is Nagas Souls Revenge, and welcome back to my channel. For today's tutorial, I'm going to be showcasing on how to change slash add themes in RetroArch for your modded PlayStation Vita or PSTV. With that being said, as well, please be sure to follow my latest social media so you know the latest hacking guides and tutorials for my channel. And as well, if you do want to support my channel in any shape or form, you can feel free to donate via my PayPal. There will be a link in the description below, or you could just look on the screen right here and type that link into your URL bar. And of course, this is pure optional as well but with that getting out of the way we could go ahead and get started on the prerequisites and things you need for this video you'll need a modded PlayStation Vita or PSTV via using the Hankaku, Hon Core or the new Trinity hack you also need to be on 3.60 or 3.70 firmware to run this exploit you also need the latest version of Vita Shell the also you need the latest version of RetroArch you also need this file called RetroArch Assets Master.zip and of course you need to go ahead and either download files of the FTP client or use your USB charging cable to transfer files over and any of the items I stated here will be in the link in the below and downloads will be all in the description and last but not least I just want to give a special thanks to LibRetro for developing RetroArch and I just want to give a big shout out to all my supporters and viewers who watch my stuff on a daily basis with that being said we could go ahead and get into the tutorial all right guys so something that you did follow all of the prerequisites as stated in the intro we could go ahead and get started on the pc portion of this tutorial so as shown here i have all my files that we need for this video and all as i stated before all links will be in the link in the description below but here's the latest version of retroarch.vpk which we need to transfer from our pc to our vita here's also the retro asset master.zip file i just extracted it so you can use winwar or you know just right click over it and um your pc if you use Windows 10 and just extract it out but this file what we need to go ahead and do we need to focus on one folder in here and it's that is the XMB file we need to go ahead and transfer that to our Vita as well but I'll get into more of that in a little bit first thing what we need to do is go ahead and we, what we need to do is transfer our retroarch.vpk file to our Vita so what I'm going to do here right now is go ahead and switch over to my screen so you'll see the Vita and also you need Vita Shell for this. So if you're using uh, HON Core or the Trinity exploit, go ahead and run that exploit first to go ahead and access your homebrew. But in my case, I'm using Hancock or Enzo, so I could stick, uh, excuse me, skip that step. But what we're gonna do now is go ahead and open up Vita Shell. And then from here, what we're gonna do is go ahead and hit start. And depending if you want to go ahead and transfer your files via USB, which I do recommend for this, since they're, uh, the file size is not too large, but there are a lot of in little uh, individual files that may take longer to transfer via FTP. That's why I recommend USB, but for me, I'm have to do it uh, via FTP since I'm using the Vita Stream uh, plugin, so you guys can see on the screen. But with that being out of the way, um, if you go hit start and then scroll all the way down to where it says the select button at, and you toggle left and right on your D-pad, uh, you could go ahead and choose whatever option you want. So in this case, I'm just gonna toggle right once to hit FTP. I'm gonna go ahead and hit circle out. And then if your Wi-Fi is on as well, and you also have unsafe homebrew ticked in Hancock settings so your PC can see all your directories such as like you know OSO, uh, UX0 aka your memory card and stuff like that you could go ahead and hit select now and you should see your IP of course yours will be uh, different from mine and as well the port for everyone is 1337 so that's what I'm going to do right here right now so once we're back on the PC, since I'm using FileZilla FTP client, all you would have to do is type your IP here, and then also just type in the port as stated before, and then hit quick connect. There'll be a link in the description for FileZilla FTP client as well, and it works with any other FTP client. I just prefer a FileZilla. But what we need to do now is go ahead, minimize this, and we need to drag our newest uh, RetroArch.VPK or the latest version, go here, and then drag that from here i'm probably have a newer version or older version in here so i have to rewrite it and also what we need to do is go ahead and we could just drag and drop from here so if we go to retro arc assets master and then scroll all the way down to x and b 
we're gonna go ahead and just drag that into UX 0 as well just to get a little head start and then what I'm gonna do now go ahead and just pause the video right here and once all my files have been like done transferring over I'll come back to y'all guys and showcase the next steps so I'll meet you guys back once that process is finished all right so as shown here guys basically all my files have successfully transferred over so what we're going to do now is go ahead and just minimize out filezilla i'm going to go ahead and go to my playstation vita right now so you guys can see on the screen we could go ahead and just close out our ftp client server and what we need to do is go ahead into ux0 scroll all the way down and we need to go ahead and install retroarc.vpk first and it should take you know a quick second for it to install if not i'll just pause the video via right here and then showcase the next step on what we need to do a few moments later all right guys so if i go ahead and back out from my uh xmb or excuse me vita show if i go into my emulators folder as you see retroarch has successfully installed what we need to do now is go ahead and back out of this go back into vita show and then within vita show what we need to do is go ahead and find our xmb folder that we just recently copied over from our pc to our vita go ahead and hit move just by clicking x so hit triangle and then x first and then we need to scroll all the way up till we see our data folder and then within our data folder we need to go into our retro arc slash folder and then we need to go into the first one called assets and then we need to go ahead and just paste so it will be copying over all of our files via from our xmb into this one folder so it may take a little while since there are a lot of uh individual files that it needs to basically uh move or copy over so what i'm going to do here is just go ahead and pause the video once it's done and then i'll show you guys um once it's finished and then we're going to go ahead into uh retro arc and run it with our new themes and we're going to go ahead and set that up as well so i'll meet you guys back once that process has fully been finished all right guys so as shown here basically all of my files are copied over from the xmb so what we need to do is go ahead and just back out of vita show as normal and then from here what we need to do is go into our retro arc folder or excuse me the actual program and then just run it like normal and then if we scroll all the way down we should have a better ui because if you guys remember how the original uh retro arc looked like it looked um pretty outdated and pretty uh, bad but i'm gonna show you guys on how to um actually add your own themes to it so if we go scroll all the way down to user interface press circle scroll all the way down to appearance press circle again go into background or excuse me not background but if we go all the way down and then scroll to menu color theme we could go ahead and change our theme via this way we could also do our menu icon theme like with monochrome so the screen will shut off for a second right here and then you can have like you know different kind of ui colors and stuff which is pretty cool if you want to you know give your vita a custom look when you use virtual arc but essentially this is the end of the tutorial hope you guys did learn something for today if you guys did like this video please be sure to follow my channel because i have a ton of videos for not just only the vita but i do a lot of stuff for the playstation 3 and ps4 as well but with that being said my name is nagato and i'm signing out thank you guys for watching see you guys next time